Well over 90% of teachers spend their own money on school supplies. Educators on average spend $500 on items like school supplies and any other essentials for their classroom. And that is quoted by the New York Times pre-pandemic. Now, if you are interested in giving back to the teachers that will be taking care of your children this school year, then stick around, keep watching this video as I walk you through a super easy and affordable DIY. Hi, I'm Natasha and I create food and lifestyle content. If you enjoy this video, be sure to click subscribe and definitely watch the next video. Shout out to Byla Keisha on Instagram. I was absolutely inspired by her video when I saw how she made this really cute back to school idea uh, for her daughter going back to school and it was a gift idea for the teacher. So I don't have uh, school age kids just yet. My kids are in preschool and then also just daycare, it's daycare preschool. Uh, but they have incredible teachers, lead teachers, and also assistant teachers that have been taking care of them all year. And I have just seen the change in my children in regards to how quickly they are learning, how quickly they are just digesting so much information, and it just shows in the curriculum and the love that the teachers have for my kids. And so it's back to school season. I was definitely in the mood and definitely inspired, and I saw all the items at Walmart and everything was in stock, and so I just had to grab everything for the teachers and assistant teachers and bring this DIY gift together for them. So keep watching as I walk you through how I'm going to set it all up. So stay tuned. I headed over to Walmart to grab all of my essentials. The really star of the show was this badge holder. It's shaped like a pencil. I thought it was so cute. And this is what you can use to pop your gift card in. Then I was on the hunt for the home edits clipboard now this isn't just any clipboard it is a storage clipboard and i thought that was so neat like if you have an office and you need to kind of keep your things together and move around maybe from classroom to classroom you can just grab your clipboard now this is just one of the like 10 aisles that walmart had for back to school supplies and y'all they had so many things to choose from i was really just trying to pick cute, small, little fun organizational items that teachers might need on hand. And sometimes they just don't have it in their classroom. So I grabbed a mini stapler and then I saw these cute little patches and I was going to actually spell out their names, but of course I couldn't find all the letters that I needed. And so I just got some cute little phrases. I checked out, then I headed home to get the party started. The home edit storage clipboard is really the base of this project. And then I went ahead and added in some cute little staples. You can totally customize this according to your taste, but these are just some of the items that I picked up. I tried to pick up things that came in a pack of two to four because I'm making four of these clipboard holders. And so I tried to get stuff that I could kind of separate and pay one price for. So I was really lucky with some of the items that they came um, either two or four, which was great. Anything that came in more, I just kind of made little piles and made sure to have everything be as even as possible so that I could distribute it throughout all four clipboards. I started with the gel pens at the top with a few paper clip holders. I went in with the next largest compartment with the under eye mask, as well as these on the go Kleenex and a little lip gloss. I added some sweet treat just two little Ghirardelli bars, a cute little sticker that says stuff that they can use to either customize their clipboard or put on other um, items that they might already own. I put in some jumbo paper clip holders, some post-it notes, a little all over body Dio, and that was pretty much it. The cover image here that you see is from Etsy. It's just a um, kind of worksheet that you can fill out with your child's information and tell them why they love the teacher so much. I added the uh, Starbucks gift card into the card holder and then that was pretty much it. I'm slowing the video down so you can really see in real time. As long as you have all of your items organized, it's really easy to fly through this. And if you're only making one, kudos to you, you'll be done in a GIF. This was me going through about four of these. And so it did take me a little bit more time, but everything was super organized and really easy to work with. I'm so proud about how these came out. Like so, so cute. 
literally if I was a teacher I would be so so happy to receive this so I just thought it was a really cute gesture I didn't know where to put these um, hair clip holders but all of my kids teachers have long hair and I felt like this was such a cute little um, item for them to have so I just ended up clipping it to um, the ID holder which I thought it looked super cute I hope you found this video super helpful if you are searching and looking for a way to give back to the teachers in your children's lives this is definitely a really fun personal and just sweet way to tell them you're thinking about them to tell them thank you to welcome a new school year it's definitely a fun gift idea you can do as much customization as you want you can get as creative as you want i did want to make note that the cover kind of um, template that I got is from Etsy but you can make your own you can do one on Cricut you could do one in Canva um, it's a digital download on Etsy so you can customize it to your children's needs um, and how the teacher has impacted the kids life so that's one tidbit um, I hope you guys really enjoyed this video if you did let me know what kind of teacher DIY gifts you might be making this year and also if you're a teacher is this the type of stuff you like to receive? Chat with me down below in the comments. I can't wait to hear from you all. And don't forget to watch my next video. I'm going to link them right here for you. And until next time, friends, talk soon. Bye.